I just like the sound of it. God, back in the game after that 15,000 calorie challenge. Having to work out at the studio today because we've got a mad busy day, but I still managed to film that workout for you. So that was uh, upper body A in my program. Now, there's quite a lot of volume in this program. Uh, we did four sets of, what's going on with that bloody focus? We did four sets on its own, as in single movements, bench, shoulder press. Um, single rows and pull downs and then after that lots of supersets. Now are you one of those people that get loads and loads of volume in your sessions or do you like to keep your uh, movements, less movements and more working sets? I like to get loads of different exercises but that's just the way I work. Right, it's time to do a bit of conditioning to burn off some of those calories from the other day. Conditioning round, ascending pyramid, dial unders, cleans, burpees, start of 10 of each, 12 of each, 14 of each, 16 of each, 12 minute workout. Whew. Don't worry guys, I'm not going full blown crossfit on you as well. Just enjoying doing some bit more conditioning. I mean, who doesn't want to be functionally fit? Like, I spent so long just doing all out bodybuilding and then if you told me to go and run a 5k, I'd probably struggle, so I want to be functionally fit. Obviously, I love bodybuilding the most, I love, that's my enjoyment, like, um, but being functionally fit's important too, so I'm gonna try and do that a little bit more. Look at the state of me. I am not cut out for this painting stuff. Wednesday seems to be the day we try and get loads of stuff done around the house. I obviously have a half day on Wednesday, so, I finish work in the morning and then I'm going to go back, which is nice. So we tick off things on the to-do list. But the house is doing well. So mine and best sort of to-do list this weekend and carrying on today is been painting and glossing these. And uh, we've only undercoated that. Because the carpet is coming in tomorrow. So the carpet is going to come in all the way up the stairs. On the landing up top here and then into the little box room. Which is looking wicked, some more painting going down, just undercoated that. And then this, this is gonna be my dressing room in here, which is gonna be really, really good. I can't wait to have that in here. Decided that we're not gonna put those doors back on, it's gonna be storage. But that's enough manual labor for me today. I need to make some food, and then um, I'm gonna go meet Al, do some laptop work, and then finally hit the gym.
It is a few days later, and by a few days, I mean like a full week later. Uh, I haven't been very good at filming at all last week. Uh, I haven't been very good at anything. This week has sort of been overwhelming with sort of house stuff, training, clients, all that sort of thing. And it sort of got on top of me, which why I haven't picked up a camera, which is kind of shit, but I guess it's all part of the process of whatever it is. Like, obviously moving into your own house, you don't realise how much stuff you take for granted, I suppose. It's just like little things, and then I think, because we're obviously moving in and still renovating constantly on my mind, there's something to do. So, I've been kind of stressed, but it's all good. We're in a better headspace now. When, you, when that sort of thing happens, you just sort of got to take a step back, reevaluate, everything will get done. Don't stress too much. We have a new addition to the fam, this new plant. It's kind of cool. Um, and also, training, like I said, training hasn't been great. I think it might be time to change gyms. Uh, 24 obviously served me really well throughout the last, I think I've been there for about a year and also through the whole of summer shredding. But I'm really struggling for motivation there. Obviously from the new house, it's a little bit further away. All the boys have moved away from training there. And training on my own, it kind of sucks. I also find it really hard to motivate myself during the off season, during the bulk, because obviously when you're training for summer shredding and you're dieting, you feel like you have a much bigger purpose you realize every cardio session is another one ticked off every weight session is another one ticked off you feel your body changing physically getting leaner and that gives you so much motivation but when you're trying to grow yeah you do get stronger in the gym the weight you can add a little bit more weight but it's just a lot it's a totally different vibe isn't it and with my, my a lot of my friends have tried to change to functional fitness which is fucking wicked like i i have been doing it in the start of this video there was a bit more functional fitness and why would you not want to be more functionally fit but a lot of my friends are now prioritizing that over bodybuilding which is not what i want to do so i'm struggling we're sat outside 24 luckily we've had a can of monster gone in and we got pre-workout of choice here we go these Saurine. This is chocolate and blood orange. Wow, wow, wow. My appetite's still quite high, so I can only have one of these little fingers. I've probably dust the whole pack. But so many cows. And we've also got toffee apples. I need to get a pick for the gram to try before I try these pre-workout. I'll give you a little review when we're in the gym. Not bad, not as good as the blood orange ones. Right, the only thing that's keeping me slightly motivated is we have a new training split from Al. Uh, we ran the upper lower split for about a month, maybe six weeks. Now we're on a PPL, which is good. Excited to run this new program. Start with incline barbell. See what we work up to. I'm not going to show you. We're going to put these on and get in the zone. Catch up in a bit. Right then, gangsters. Let's wrap up the video. Currently watching Mariah, apparently six weeks out from his first ever men's physique competition, which would be quite cool to watch that, get me fired up for mine next year. I'm sorry this video has been a little bit all over the place, uh, but after a little bit of a rant midway through this video, I feel a lot better. Uh, new training program is going really, really well. Rack pulled for the first time today in years, and it, it felt good. Hard, but good. Also, some slight house progression has been made. Like I said, the carpets have been fitted. Oh, also that door's on. I still need to put the architrave around the corners and paint it, but door's on. Carpet is in all the way up the stairs. Throughout the land. Little box rooms coming on quite nicely. I've actually got some rails coming on this wall for today. Still waiting for them. And then yesterday, we picked up this bad boy. New unit for in here, for in the bedroom, and hung the TV. So this room is basically complete. Tell you what, getting that upstairs was not ideal, but we got it done. Um, so, we actually got that on a bit of a steal as well, so when it's B&Q, saw it in B&Q a few weeks ago, we wanted it, they said they might be discontinuing it and they had no more in stock. Uh, back and forth, back and forth, and we managed to pick up the display one, uh, and we got it for like, we got like 75% off the price. So, absolute steal, there is a slight scratch on it, but a bit of a wheel of dealing steals because we're running out of money. But, it's payday 
well, it's the last day of the month today, so which means invoice day. So I need to go back downstairs, sit in there, send out all my invoices and just get all the admin done so we can enjoy our weekend from tomorrow. I also think on the note of potentially training at a new gym, I might go and train with Pure at Pure with Al tomorrow because he's just signed up there. So if we do do that, I'll probably film it, see what it's about, see what it's like. Apparently there's been a big renovation in there as well, so that should be really good. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up button, hit subscribe. I appreciate all you new subscribers out there, and I will see you in the next one.